In today's video, we're gonna go over the richest people that live like average Joes. Starting with celebrities, rappers, actors, NBA, NASCAR, and NFL superstars. Strap in, it's gonna be a long one. Here are 15 extremely rich people who live like average Joes. Stick around to the end because some of these are very surprising. Number one will shock you. Number 15, Mark Cuban. If you're looking for a way to get rich and stay rich, look no further because Mark Cuban is your man. The Dallas Mavericks owner has lived cheap his whole life. When he was 20, he found the cheapest way to live was to crowd as many people as possible into one apartment. Many days, he slept on couches or the floor, but even before that, he always had a mind for business. When he was 12, he sold garbage bags to buy new basketball shoes. All his struggle has paid off because today, the man has amassed over $3 billion. But he's never forgotten his philosophy of thrifty living because he can still be seen shouting his head off at basketball games, wearing only regular jeans and a beat up pair of sneakers. And he's not the only one who has tips about living cheaply. Up next, we have the face of one of the most iconic franchises in the world. Number 14, Tyra Banks. How does the host of America's Next Top Model maintain her beauty? We'll probably never know her secrets, but what we know of her is that she's as thrifty as possible. Her work takes her to many hotels, so Tyra uses the situation to her advantage. Instead of buying new shampoo and conditioner, she collects the samples from all the places she visits. She's also no stranger to eating leftovers. Clearly, stardom has not changed her humble ways, just as it hasn't changed this next person. Number 13, Kristen Bell. Okay, this one might not be shocking. A few months ago, Kristen Bell got the flack for not bathing her children. Her guests probably go through the seven stages of grief when they show up at her house, but her water bill isn't the only way she saves money. Despite having a combined net worth of over 40 million with her husband, Dak Shepard, the pair have proved that lavish events and parties aren't to everyone's taste. They even got married at a local courthouse for a total of $142. Kudos to them. Not everyone would be willing to save up on their special day in this way. Belle is also someone who regularly saves coupons. Guess that mom instinct doesn't go away with fame and fortune, huh? Now let's hope those kids get that shower. But speaking of things you shouldn't admit to, another celebrity on this list might take things too far. Number 12, Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis. Together, the It Couple have a whopping combined net worth of over $275 million. They're two of the most well-known faces on the planet, and they're increasingly becoming even more well-known for their frugal habits. The Hollywood power couple is trying to give their kids as normal an upbringing as possible. It's probably not easy, but they're trying to make it work. Some of their policies include not giving their children more than one gift at Christmas. Kunis was raised in the USSR, and old habits die hard. This is probably for the best, though. Spoiled Hollywood kids have grown up to be famously messed up. Another one of their policies, like Belle, is not bathing their kids until they visibly have dirt on them. Yeah, maybe some of these policies should be under revision. They're not all smart. Of course, we don't want anyone to get any wrong ideas. You can live on a budget and find a way to exercise proper hygiene. The next entries will prove that to you. Number 11, Queen Elizabeth II. The late Queen Elizabeth proved that the crown sat on a good head repeatedly. But did you know she was very frugal? That's right. Even though you'd imagine the family had the wealth equivalent to a whole country at their disposal, the queen ensured that not a single penny from it was wasted. Not only did she demand that all the palace light bulbs be low wattage and turned off when they weren't being used, but she also had wrapping paper be reused, used the same fraying sheets, and had the same handbags for 40 years. For all those people who talk about getting new outfits for every single occasion, if the ruler of England wasn't doing it, why should you? She was truly a queen. And she's passed her wisdom down to her family too. Number 10, Kate Middleton. Like mother, like daughter-in-law. The Duchess of Cambridge is one of the most well-known outfit repeaters in the world. While some of the 1% of celebrities might find it beneath them to show up on TV wearing the same outfit multiple times, Kate Middleton is the perfect example of just how immature that mentality is. After all, there are so many better things to spend money on. Maybe she's picked up her habits from the queen, or she's naturally thrifty. 
Either way, salutations to the Duchess. She's smarter than most people in the world. Her $10 million fortune won't be wasted, that's for sure. And speaking of famous women in clothing, we have another national icon who has proved herself to be incredibly smart with her money. Number 9. Michelle Obama The words class and Michelle Obama go hand in hand. While in the White House, she paid for the entirety of her wardrobe, choosing the taxpayers' money to go into more important endeavors. Most of the dresses and gowns she wore while her husband was in office were donated by designers. For everything else, she went retail. Michelle Obama proves that there's no such thing as too cheap, and if anyone tells you that it is, they're probably not worth your time. On one of her appearances on NBC's Today Show, she was wearing a $35 dress from the fast fashion brand H&M. Oh, Michelle, you're just like us. Or not. After all, she had a net worth of $70 million. But she definitely didn't get there by blowing money on things she didn't need. Number 8. Keanu Reeves Bet you didn't see this one coming. Is there any end to this man's virtues? Not only does Keanu Reeves dress very modestly, but he's also opted against the lavish lifestyle many of his celebrity peers adore. With a net worth of $380 million, it would be the easiest thing in the world for him to blow a cool couple of mils on a few expensive luxury cars. Still, the actor travels by public transit, like the subway. If you saw him on the street, you'd be hard-pressed to recognize him as one of the highest-paid actors in the world. He's a man of the people, through and through. After all, who doesn't love Keanu? But speaking of your peers living descendant lifestyles and flaunting how much money they have, we have the king of YouTube himself up next. Number 7. PewDiePie He's a singer, he's a comedian, and he's also the biggest YouTuber out there. Unless you're counting mega corporations with unlimited resources behind them, of course. Looking at you, T-Series. No, Felix Shelberg is a self-made man through and through, and he never forgot his humble roots. While his fellow YouTubers live flashy lifestyles in LA, drawing controversy after controversy, PewDiePie remains humble. A quick look at any videos will show you the same modest face. It's hoodies and t-shirts galore. He doesn't spend cash on cars he can't afford, and cut down the production budget after he broke off from Disney. Most of the time, he even films from a spare room in his house. PewDiePie knows that when you're on top, people will know. You don't need to try to show it to everyone. What is it that people say? Wealth is quiet. And no one proves it better than this next entry, of course. Number 6. Mark Zuckerberg There's no way this list would be complete without Mark Zuckerberg himself. Being the CEO of one of the biggest companies in the world, having kickstarted the era of social media, and becoming the fifth richest person with a net worth of over 70 billion, Mark won't have to worry about money anytime soon in his life. But suppose you pass by him on the street. In that case, you think he's just an average millennial or a recent college graduate struggling to pay off his student loans. In almost every picture floating around on the internet, Mark can be seen donning his signature jeans and a gray t-shirt. In the vehicle he uses to drive to work? A $30,000 Acura. Knowing Zuckerberg, there's probably a lot of thought that went behind this public image, but there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, Mark and his wife have revealed that the two plan to give away most of their wealth before they die. Now that's an agenda we can all get behind. Hit the subscribe button before we get to the last few people on the list. You have about three seconds. Three, two, one. Hopefully, by subscribing to us, you'll learn how people comfortable with their wealth live. Keep watching, you'll never guess who took our number one spot. Number 5. Vincent Carthizer This one might be a little unknown to you, mostly because Carthizer has yet to land any larger-than-life roles the rest of the people on this list have had. But he still has to make his fair share of the money. After all, he was the lead role in the hit show Mad Men and has racked up a net worth of about $3 million. He might be the least wealthy on this list, but that number isn't something to scoff at. But despite his massive success in life and a career trajectory that only seems to be going upward, Carthizer has not given up his humble attitude just yet. He doesn't go out of his way to impress. He dresses like the average guy on the street. He doesn't even drive. In fact, the man is so minimalistic that he's in the process of giving away or selling anything he doesn't need. But if you want someone truly at the top of the list, we have those people upcoming as well. And we're not talking about hundreds of millions either. 
We're talking about full-blown, unfathomable dynasty rich people. Number four, Amancio Ortega. Don't recognize the name? Don't worry, you probably remember the brand. Amancio Ortega is behind Zara and possesses an absurd net worth of $80 billion, the richest retailer in the world. Of course, you'd never guess that just by looking at him. Ortega comes from a very humble background, and although today he's the owner of one of the most well-known clothing companies in the world, he'll still usually wear a simple shirt and pants. He never wears a tie, although he sometimes wears a suit. And he's so private about his life that before 1999, no single photograph of him was available to the public. He's also a big fan of charity, donating millions to healthcare. Most of these donations go back to his home country, Spain. And if he wasn't enough for you, we have another billionaire next up on the list. Number 3. Ingvar Kamprad Kamprad was the owner of IKEA. In fact, the company's name spells out his initials, the first letter of his family's farm, and the first letter of a nearby town back home in Sweden. This makes him the second Swede on this list, along with PewDiePie. Maybe modesty is a common trait in the country. Throughout his life, Kamprad amassed over 50 billion and was even the richest man in the world. Still, he never forgot when he used to sell matchsticks from his bicycle. The billionaire could often be seen wearing clothes that looked well-loved, and he usually only traveled on economy-class flights. Along with his wife, the two gave blue-collar couple energy, and that made us love these two all the more. But hey, if you're tired of hearing about CEOs who you don't know, up next, we have someone who has become a household name. Number 2. Warren Buffett The Oracle of Omaha himself. He's a businessman, investor, philanthropist, and one of the most well-known faces across America. He's also one of the richest people in the world. According to Forbes, he has over a $100 billion net worth. So, it's surprising that a man of his stature still chooses to live in the same house he bought over 60 years ago, and he wouldn't ever give it up either. According to what he told investors, the $31,500 he paid for it was the best deal he ever made because he had over half a decade of memories. Now that's a sentiment we can all get behind. There's no price for happy memories. And finally, we're at the end of the list. This person is one of the most sought-after actors in the world. Seeing him living a humble life is humbling itself. Number 1. Leonardo DiCaprio Surprised? You'd be shocked there, too, if you saw him on the street. Because when he's not on set for the production of another billion-dollar movie, Leonardo DiCaprio is completely unrecognizable. Instead of drawing attention to himself with expensive clothing and big cars, he goes around town on rented bikes and a baseball hat and shorts. Not bad for a man with a net worth of over $300 million. Clearly, he's learned something from his Gatsby character. Flaunting what you have always ended up in tragedy. These people have proved that if you want to become rich, you need to learn how to live like the poor and that you don't need to spend your cash on stupid things to flaunt what you have. You won't believe that these eight extremely rich rappers live like average Joes. From wearing thrift clothes to doing some major house chores, these wealthy people prove not all rappers need to flash their cash. Number 8. Big Thug – $2,000,000 dollars. You might have seen Big Thug, formerly known as Slim Thug, making the headlines for his controversial statements. But that's not the reason he's on our list today. Sorry to spoil the fun for those waiting for some spicy news. The hip-hop artist is quite popular for simplicity in his life. Despite having a fortune of 2 mil, Big Thug is careful with how he spends his money. He loves living like a normal person. Plus, he often shares some words of wisdom about finances. The rap star once revealed that he doesn't splurge his money on clothes. In fact, he chooses to wear cheap clothes. And he even owns outfits that cost less than $20. That's a tiny amount of cash for Big Thug if we look at his bank account, yet he chooses to spend it wisely, which is definitely impressive. He has confessed that he's pretty frugal and he's changed his mindset about money over the years. And a lot of other rappers who blow it all and go broke should follow his example. He's pretty picky when he makes certain purchases, and he has brilliant advice for everyone. Don't buy things you can't afford. 
If you love expensive stuff but you don't have the cash, maybe go for something more affordable. It'll keep your wallet happy in the long run. Big Thug changed his own mind about how he spends his money. But the next rapper on our list owes his frugal lifestyle to someone he loved dearly. Number 7. Killer Mike $5 million The Grammy winner Killer Mike, aka Michael Santiago Render, has raked in tons of cash from three different sources. It's not just his music that helps him make loads, but his business ventures and his Netflix series, Trigger Warning, bring in even more cash. If we add up the income from all his ventures, he has a net worth of 5 mil. However, all that cash was unable to change Killer Mike's normal routine. The music sensation has admitted that he enjoys his lifestyle as an average Joe. He does live in a beautiful house, but it's way below what he could actually afford. He always spends his money sensibly and lives like a successful working-class guy. He's out there telling everyone that he's the opposite of what many of us think. But there's one thing that he claimed to slip on. He loves muscle cars, and that's the only thing he splashes out for. He believes there's nothing like hitting 130, 140, or 150 miles per hour on regular streets with a car for a real adventure. Besides that, he avoids overspending. We all have that one thing we can't resist, and it's totally okay for him to spend that small portion of his net worth. He still deserves praise for his careful spending. And you won't believe where he learned to have such smart financial habits. His grandparents. They were money-savvy people, and he loved them for that. So he picked up those habits. Even today, he follows those tricks because he doesn't want to be one of those people who waste an opportunity to bring a change especially when it comes to wealth. While Killer Mike sticking to his family values is admirable, the next rap star has his own out-of-the-box ideas to help him live like an ordinary man. Number 6. Lil Dicky – $8 million Lil Dicky, aka Dave Bird, is our next thrifty rapper despite having a net worth of $8 million. But do you know what's interesting about him? This artist is not just vocal about his laid-back style, he aims to spread his message far and wide. And he's already done that. In 2015, he released the hit Save Dat Money, a groovy but hilarious music video with a different take on frugality. Interestingly, he made the music video without spending a single dollar. That's unheard of at his level. The guy deserves a lot of credit for nailing it and he even raked in $600 from his sponsors. Some chunks of his music video were shot in Beverly Hills houses. Normally, you need a lot of cash for locations like that, but he went knocking on doors asking if he could use their homes for a short 15-minute film. Lil Dicky got the idea for Save Dad Money from being super careful with his cash. He's always been a money-wise guy and wanted to tell his fans about it. In the song, he starts by saying that he's not into splashing his cash like other rappers. They flaunt their riches, but he's not interested in doing anything like that. Throughout the video, the rap star wore clothes that were either bought on sale, paid for by sponsors, or were sourced for free. Plus, we all got to know three more interesting things about the rapper. Firstly, he doesn't have his own Netflix account. Even though he's a millionaire, he uses a shared account like many of us. And he was thankful to his cousin Greg for being kind enough to share it. Secondly, he's really into energy conservation, as we understood from his lyrics. The guy turns off the lights when he's not using a room. Lastly, he mentioned 401k rolling over bands on it. 401k is a special savings account for retirement that your job helps you build. He uses money from your paycheck before taxes. Lil Dicky seemed to be telling us he's financially responsible and is saving in his 401k. If that's true, it looks like he'll never go broke. Our next rapper can join that list too. He came from a totally unrelated field and rocked the hip-hop stage, but he never forgot his values. Number 5. D1 18 million dollars. You'll be surprised to hear that D1 was a middle school teacher before he made his mark in the music industry. Lucky kids. But the fame and riches he now has didn't come easy. He had a difficult childhood. This is one of the reasons he stays humble and lives his life like an average Joe. D1 once shared that his family didn't have enough money when he was growing up. They also taught him two valuable lessons. The first was to work hard, and the second was to stay down to earth no matter what. 
This is why he doesn't believe in flexing his wealth, even if he's worth around $18 million. But the rap star did confess that there was a time when he lost track. He was guilty of jumping on the making it rain trend. At that time, he just wanted to go to parties and throw cash like his idols. Thankfully, he came to his senses. We can all learn a lesson from the way he bounced back. D1 realized that he did want to be like the rappers he admired, but he also wanted to handle money differently. The guy wants to set an example for others. So he started to focus on being relevant, and he took a responsible approach to money management. How inspiring! Let's talk about how he made some major changes in his life. For starters, he doesn't waste money on clothes. That can be pretty tough when you have events to attend and shows to perform, but he's lucky enough to get free clothes as a PR, and he has some deals with apparel brands too. That means not only does he save money, he actually gets paid to wear their clothes. That helps him cut out a huge part of his expenses. Plus, D1 is not a huge fan of cars. In fact, he still owns a 98 Honda. He has an interesting logic behind keeping that car. He thinks that the type of car someone drives does not determine their worth. We agree with him on this. He actually said he never wanted his own car, but we guess he decided it's pretty useful if you have a busy schedule. And there's a fascinating story about his car. The 98 Honda has been with him through thick and thin, so it has sentimental value. And he's never had to deal with a car payment ever. Like D, the next rapper on our list is another multi-millionaire who's making waves in the industry but is still living a normal life. Number 4. Macklemore $25 million Macklemore's incredible journey to stardom was a perfect blend of talent, savvy business moves, and thriftiness. The rapper is the perfect example of how doing things a bit differently can lead to big success. Macklemore and his partner musician, Ryan Lewis, decided to change the trend in the music industry. Instead of signing up with a big record label, they took things into their own hands. They self-produced their debut album, The Heist. There were no fancy studios involved in the entire process. But not everything went smoothly. Macklemore had his battle with substance abuse, wrestling with Oxycontin in 2008. He recovered, came out stronger, and teamed up with Lewis for their first big album. His struggles play an important role in shaping his life like a common person. You're probably wondering how Macklemore keeps his expenses in control. Well, he and his partner design and sell their own merchandise. That not only helps them save money, but they earn it at the same time. And it doesn't end there. You might not have expected this from someone with a fortune of 25 mil, but it's all true. He absolutely loves to buy his stuff from thrift stores. He even tells other people to check out these stores to get a good deal. Macklemore made some amazing points in his single thrift shop. It's all part of his unique and down-to-earth style that helped him climb the ladder of success. Just like Macklemore, our next rap star is into thriftiness, and interestingly, the two even have the same net worth. Number 3. ASAP Rocky – $25 million It's fair to say that ASAP Rocky is the rapper who knows how to rock thrifted clothes like a pro. He's not your typical big spender, and he has a unique approach to fashion that's worth talking about. Especially when he could buy almost anything with his staggering net worth of 25 mil. I don't spend money like that, bro, he says, and he means it. He's not into the big spending trend. But why does Rocky have this mindset? Well, he has two good reasons. Thrifting helps him to save money, and he's really into the vintage vibes and the sentimental value the clothes have. We can all take some notes from Rocky on how to rock the classics. And if you think he's a big spender at these thrift stores, then you're mistaken. The rapper is proud to be one of the most frugal shoppers ever. Just like us, he's looking for a good bargain. No need for flashy designer labels when you can find hidden gems in thrift shops. The next rapper has a net worth that's two times more than ASAP Rocky's, and yet he also lives without overspending. Number 2. J. Cole $60 million We can't talk about successful rappers without J. Cole's name coming up. He's dropped six albums, and all of them went to number one. He's even gone platinum a whopping nine times. But J. Cole hasn't lived the good life from day one. There were days when he didn't have stacks of cash or the fame he has now. He had to work hard to be where he is today, and still fears going broke. And J. Cole is not like some celebs who blow cash on useless things. 
Instead, he believes in experiences. For example, if he's going on vacation, he's happy to spend a few bucks. But if it's an everyday purchase, he looks for a good deal. It looks like J. Cole has a minimalist approach to life. What truly sets him apart is his lack of interest in materialistic things. Take luxury cars, for instance. He doesn't think that they're a big deal. The same goes for fancy watches, accessories, and all those high-end purchases. It's just not his thing. He's the sort of person who doesn't easily fall for all that glitz and glam. He realized pretty early that those things didn't make him happy. J. Cole once shared a funny story. Someone once gave him a pack of socks. They were as basic as socks can get. He wore them while he was hanging out with his buddy Kevin. They were shooting a video and Kevin spotted his socks, of all things. He started teasing him about how there are fancier socks out there and he shouldn't settle for the plain ones. But J. Cole stuck up for those socks. He told Kevin that he liked them just fine. He didn't see the point in splurging on fancy socks when these did the job. Sometimes, it's the simple things that make you the happiest. J. Cole might be a smart shopper, but the rapper in our number one tried something different to save money. Number 1. Rick Ross $150 million When we think about rap superstar Rick Ross, we link him with glitz and glamour, but in real life, he's the opposite of all those things. Rick Ross is a money-saving mastermind. First up, he's not afraid of getting his hands dirty. The rapper doesn't just mow his lawn, he takes care of more than 200 acres of land all by himself. But how does he do that? Well, he bought a tractor, installed an AC in it, added a radio, and even tinted the windows. Then he learned how to operate it like a pro. He calls it his special time to connect with nature. Even with a net worth of 150 mil, he doesn't have a private jet obsession. Instead, he hops on a regular old commercial plane just like the rest of us. Sure, he might treat himself to first class, but he's sharing that flight with people in economy. We think that's a smart move, especially with his busy travel schedule. But that's not his only money-saving tip. Rick doesn't buy brand new stuff. Nope. The rap star is more interested in things that have history, character, and a past. That means he's a frequent shopper at swap meets. He goes down there hunting for antiques and unique treasures. Moreover, the hip-hop artist always manages to get some amazing items for less than 20 bucks. So instead of flashy and expensive decor, his house is full of items he found at swap meets, which creates an entirely unique vibe. Whether it's something for his home or a trendy outfit, it's a win-win situation. Who needs pricey things when you can have a pocket full of savings, right? Now, Rick Ross is a big shot celebrity but he doesn't live like a typical star. He cooks his own meals instead of hiring a private chef. And you won't catch him leaving a mess behind. He cleans up after himself. But there is a slight twist to this. You see, Ross recently dropped a bombshell. He casually mentioned that he spent a whopping $100 million. But that expense was more like an investment, and it's likely to pay off big time. Think it's surprising to see a rapper living like an average Joe? They're not the only rich and famous people who actually live an unimaginably simple life. Here are 12 frugal celebrities who are enormously wealthy, but stayed humble. From limiting their monthly budgets to buying from thrift stores, their humble ways may come as a shock to you. Number 12. Shailene Woodley 12 million dollars. Shailene Woodley, a familiar face since her teenage years, has always remained authentic. She's always avoided the glitz and glamour that comes with fame. With a net worth of 12 million dollars, she's chosen a frugal life. For years, she had a nomadic lifestyle, living out of a carry-on suitcase and couch surfing among friends. In the summer of 2016, she even lived in an RV for months. And when it comes to handling her finances, Shailene is a savvy budgeter. She once revealed that her frugal habits stem from her childhood experiences. She said, I was fortunate to grow up without a ton of money, but we never had to worry about not having enough. She was only 10 years old when she recognized the value of hard work and started to babysit. This instilled in her a deep appreciation for the value of money. Even though Shailene Woodley is a dedicated worker, her ultimate aim was never just immense wealth. She shared that she never felt the need for excessive riches and emphasized her love for the rewards of hard work. And she even proudly declared that she's one of the thriftiest people around. 
For her, the sentimental value outweighs the cost. Plus, she actively seeks ways to be eco-conscious and reduce waste. The star has discovered a fantastic way to align her frugality with environmental responsibility. As a part of her effort, she exclusively buys used clothing, promoting both sustainability and wise spending. Shailene Woodley's purchases show that she's an environmentally responsible person, working to reduce her footprint on the planet. Just like her, the next celebrity on our list chose a humble home and loves to follow eco-friendly practices. Number 11. Jack Johnson $23 million Jack Johnson is a musician with a devoted following and multiple hit albums. But despite his immense success, he chooses to fly in economy class, and he lives in a simple yet beautiful home in Hawaii. He and his family enjoy their life at the modest Oahu hillside home, which is blessed with a breathtaking ocean view. Jack prefers a peaceful atmosphere and to stay away from distractions. He doesn't even have cable television. And he doesn't exactly enjoy fame either, so he sees the privacy of his home away from the city as a benefit because he can stay clear of the media frenzy. He enjoys being able to walk around the street where not one person will recognize him. He says he likes that people know his music better than his face. In fact, that's why most of his album covers only feature silhouettes. He is indeed a down-to-earth soul in the world of music and a rare gem. In 2008, his concert tour earnings soared to over $22 million. What makes this even more extraordinary is that every dollar earned went toward founding the Johnson Ohana Charitable Foundation. This foundation is committed to supporting the environment, art, and music education. And here's the inspiring part. Jack Johnson continues to donate 100% of his tour profits to this noble fund. He exemplifies the power of success used for positive change. Emmett Malloy, Jack's co-manager, confirms his humility, saying that Jack is very down-to-earth. Jack Johnson has stayed true to himself, and this helped him to succeed without losing sight of who he is. And coming up next is a celebrity who tries her best to remain true to her simple beliefs. Number 10. Julia Fox $30 million Julia Fox is famous for her glamorous image, but her fans were shocked to the core after seeing her other side. She recently opened up about her choice for a simpler life. In a TikTok video, Julia warmly welcomed fans into her cozy New York City apartment, which she shares with her son, Valentino. And people had mixed opinions after the apartment tour. Some applauded her approach to life. At the same time, others raised eyebrows at her decision to live in a modest space. But Julia Fox had a brilliant explanation of her perspective. While she can't afford a larger place, she prefers normalcy for her son. All she wants for him is to stay grounded and not lose touch with the real world. She emphasized that she herself grew up in the real world and that's an experience she cherishes. Julia's plans are clear. She wants her son to grow up with humility, empathy, and a connection to reality. Just like Julia, our upcoming star opts for a carefree approach to life and enjoys keeping things simple. Number 9. Rob Gronkowski – $45 million It's truly remarkable when someone doesn't get carried away with their wealth, and instead, they keep a low profile. One example is Rob Gronkowski, the legendary player from the New England Patriots. He's famous for his amazing career on the football field and his outgoing personality. But he achieved something equally fascinating. Rob won the Super Bowl four times and earned a whopping $70 million during his 11-year NFL journey. But guess what? He never spent a single penny of it. He defied expectations in the most humble way. Rob Gronkowski chose to live by using the income from endorsements only. His impressive list of sponsors includes Dunkin' Donuts, Visa, T-Mobile, Lyft, Cheerios, Monster Energy Drink, Tide, and a memorable USAA commercial. The footballer shared some inspiring insights surrounding finances in his book, It's Good to be Gronk. He revealed that he didn't splurge on expensive cars, flashy jewelry, and tattoos. What's even more surprising is that he still proudly wears his favorite high school jeans. Rob's modest lifestyle and prioritizing financial stability have helped him to enjoy life both on and off the field while securing his future. But the next celebrity's frugal lifestyle is all down to her life experiences. Number 8. 
Mila Kunis, $75 million. Mila Kunis, the talented actress famous for roles in Black Swan, Bad Moms, and the iconic sitcom That 70s Show, is an inspiration in more than one way. Despite her immense wealth, she holds on to the value she learned as an immigrant. Mila's perspective about the value of money is due to her upbringing. Her parents made sure that she understood the importance of hard work. She's a prime example of no matter how successful you get, never forget the values of your past. Mila once admitted that before marrying the actor Ashton Kutcher, she was cautious about her spending habits. And she still is, despite her husband reassuring her that it's okay to spend a few dollars on something you love. But you know what they say about good values, they don't go away easily. And that's the case with Mila Kunis. She holds on to her thrifty tendencies in an effort to minimize waste. She believes in the value of conserving resources and making mindful choices. Now, that's an excellent example of finding a balance between being economical and enjoying life. Mila even loves a discount, like Groupon for dining. And you won't believe this one. For her big day, she bought wedding bands for the two of them from Etsy in the $90 to $100 range. Mila Kunis shows us that you don't need to flash your cash to have a good time. Just like her, the next celebrity on our list has a similar lifestyle. Number 7. Kira Knightley – $80 million The famous British actress Kira Knightley sets a shining example of savvy financial planning. Kira told Glamour magazine that her annual allowance is just 50 grand. This might seem substantial to many of us, but it's only a fraction of her earnings from hit films like Atonement and Love Actually. Looking at her hit projects, it would be an understatement that her views on money are pretty simple. She believes that living a lavish lifestyle can isolate you from those who don't have as much money. And the best thing is that her most cherished moments have occurred in modest settings. Kira doesn't shy away when it comes to setting an example for the public. Her wedding wasn't glamorous or extravagant. Instead, it was the complete opposite. Her marriage with English musician James Wrighton was simple and intimate. The couple had invited only 11 guests at the ceremony, and there were just 50 at the reception. Interestingly, she chose not to overspend on new makeup or clothing for her special day. She opted for a laid-back approach, recycling her beloved beauty items and wearing a Chanel dress she already owned. She could have afforded a brand new designer dress, a thousand guests, and a swanky location. But she just didn't think all that spending would make the day any better. It turned out she was right. To Kira Knightley, life means valuing meaningful moments, regardless of their humble origins. Coming up next is a celebrity who adopted a frugal lifestyle in an effort to heal Mother Nature. Number 6. Lenny Kravitz $90 million Meet Lenny Kravitz, the legendary rock star. While rock and roll can be all about flashy parties and big mansions, Kravitz is a surprisingly frugal environmental conservationist. He lives on a ranch and tends to his own veggies. You might show him a compost bin crawling with worms, and he would see it as an opportunity. He's been a vegetarian for years, long before it was cool, promoting the goodness of plant-based eating. He chose the Bahamas location for his home specifically because of how easy it is to grow his own food there. His garden supplies most of what he eats, and it's all vegan and mostly raw. And Lenny Kravitz is not just into music, he's a big advocate for making the world a better place. He supports education, fights for human rights, and champions environmental conservation. Lenny Kravitz's green living is pretty impressive, but the next celebrity on our list seems to be giving Kravitz a run for his money. Number 5. Christian Bale – $130 million Despite playing Batman in a billion-dollar franchise, Oscar winner Christian Bale does not lead an extravagant lifestyle. He's one of Hollywood's most humble and down-to-earth men. Christian Bale owns a small house in Santa Monica, and for a while, he and his family even shared an apartment. We live in an era where even breathing without a phone is impossible, but he defied this concept and lived years without a cell phone. He once said in an interview that wealth doesn't mean anything to him. He added, If a robber broke into my house, he'd burst into tears. It's not just Christian's house that's modest. He still drives a 2003 Toyota Tacoma. And it's quite something to see him still driving that truck. 
Plus, he doesn't surround himself with assistance or security when running everyday errands like groceries or grabbing coffee. I guess he doesn't need all that. After all, who'd believe it really was Batman driving around in that Toyota? Hollywood is often associated with opulence, but Christian Bale stands out against this trend. And the next person on our list also prefers a relaxed lifestyle. Number 4. Jennifer Lawrence $175 million Jennifer Lawrence is often celebrated as a shining example of frugality. Even her meteoric rise to fame didn't stop her from living the thrifty life. At the young age of 23, Lawrence set an impressive example of financial responsibility. This made her an ideal role model for those who are still developing their money management skills. She was born into a middle-class family in Louisville, and she attributes her values to her parents. She claims she was raised to value and respect money, even if you have a lot of it. She also said she's grateful to have a family that would never let her turn into a diva. Jennifer keeps her finances simple and relatable. Firstly, she lives in a modest three-bedroom apartment in Los Angeles, and she's owned the place for several years. She made it clear that she doesn't have any plans to splurge on a lavish house. Plus, J-Law chooses not to hire personal assistants for her shopping needs and she loves clipping coupons like the average person. While some celebrities favor high-end stores, Jennifer opts for a more down-to-earth approach. She's mindful about valet parking expenses and drives an economical car. In fact, she still drives the same Volkswagen she's had for years. Even after her Best Actress win in Silver Linings Playbook, Jennifer kept it practical by picking a Chevy Volt for 39 grand. She still looks for bargains when she goes to the market. She says that sometimes she splashes out by letting people park her car for her, but she seems like she'd rather keep that $4 she has to pay for the valet service. But she's made one thing clear. She's not the one to spend money on unnecessary indulgences, not even on something as simple as a Snickers bar. Her dedication to a modest lifestyle is so deeply ingrained that she once shared an amusing incident. She confessed to accidentally making a $500 order of gummy bears while spending time with Lenny Kravitz. I guess nobody's perfect when it comes to money. Jennifer Lawrence's dedication to a humble way of life is reflected in every aspect of her existence. The next celebrity on our list seems to share her values. Number 3. Dave Grohl $330 million Dave Grohl is the frontman of the Foo Fighters, and he's not the stereotypical rock star we might all imagine. His rock star lifestyle stands out from the crowd, and that's something to look up to. In his downtime, Dave lives a regular, down-to-earth life. He prioritizes taking care of his family and doesn't make spontaneous purchases. And he's not in the field to gather more money. It's his passion for music that motivates him to work harder. Dave's perspective on money is unique. He doesn't let it consume him or dictate his life. Instead, he thinks of it as a tool that provides him with the freedom to pursue his passions without constant worry. His choice of a modest, shared family car and a reasonably sized home reflects his grounded nature. And he's not trying to impress anyone with extravagant possessions. The only thing that he treasures is his studio. Dave Grohl calls his studio, Studio 606, his gold mine, and it makes perfect sense for him to invest in that. After all, that's what his livelihood depends on. Dave Grohl's approach to wealth highlights the fact that success isn't solely measured by extravagant display of riches. It's all about following your passion and finding freedom and fulfillment in your decisions. And our next celebrity is another A-lister, who's often mistaken as an ordinary guy. Number 2. Adam Sandler $420 million Adam Sandler, a Hollywood A-lister, shines brightly in his own unique way. While he may not follow the latest trends, his consistent choice of relaxed attire has transformed him into a fashion icon. Now, his fashion journey did have a fair share of questionable moments, but he remains unapologetically himself, and he sticks to his signature look. Loose-fitting t-shirts, extra roomy basketball shorts, and comfy sneakers. If you ever spot him somewhere, you might think he's ready for a post-school basketball game. 
His co-stars and friends adore his quirky style. Many sources have even reported on him wearing slippers to his own movie premieres. It's amazing to think that an actor with a net worth of nearly half a billion dollars still sticks to his modest style. But what does he do for enjoyment if he's not spending loads of cash? Well, Adam is often seen strolling through the streets of New York, enjoying a jar of pickles. In May 2021, he proved he was just like us, as he waited in line for 30 minutes at IHOP. Besides his one-of-a-kind style and frugal lifestyle, Adam is also a kind-hearted person. He not only donates to noble causes, but also utilizes his talents to raise awareness and funds for autism. Adam Sandler's choices teach us that being comfortable in your own skin is timeless and valuable. And the last celebrity on our list takes things to a whole new level. Number 1. Chow Yun-Fat $715 million Chow Yun-Fat has been gracing the screen for more than four decades now, and he has a staggering net worth of 5.6 billion HKD, which equals $715 million. With such a massive amount of wealth, it's natural to think that he must have a luxurious lifestyle, but that's a big misconception. Chow Yun-Fat is living the life of a normal person. He's a simple man who prefers using public transport. Instead of spending money, he prefers to focus more on helping others. He made a shocking claim once that his monthly expenditure is only $102. And he isn't into the latest gadgets or fashion trends either. In fact, he used his first-generation Nokia phone for over 17 years. He only switched to a smartphone after his Nokia stopped working. Plus, he shops at discount stores. And for him, comfort is everything. Instead of chasing material wealth, he dedicates his free time to healthy habits like hiking and jogging. His wife Jasmine shared that they've planned to donate their wealth to various charities, but they want a different route instead. Together, they founded their own charity, and Jasmine fully supports his decision to give back. When asked why he was giving away his fortune, Chow Yun-Fat replied with a smile and, The money's not mine. I'm just keeping it safe for now. Chow Yun-Fat is truly happy when he's living the simple life. And there you have it. These 12 celebrities prove that you don't have to be flashy if you're crazy rich. Get ready and relax as we go through the lives of these amazing athletes who have proved that some sports stars can be financially wise despite the high rate of bankruptcy that's characterized the sector. These athletes are extremely rich, but they live like the average Joe. So, how do you achieve the humble lifestyle despite being millionaires? How are they able to transcend the lure of extravagant lifestyles and showcase financial security? Come with us on this exciting journey. Number 15. Aaron Rodgers Aaron Rodgers, one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, is worth about $200 million, which is more than enough to live as lavishly as he wants. But clearly, that's not what Rodgers wants. He's quite happy and comfortable living a simple lifestyle. He avoids expensive grocery stores but gets his stuff from his local grocery shop. He's known to mow his lawn by himself, refusing to hire anyone to do it. His house is nowhere as sophisticated as those of most of his teammates. He doesn't eat at fancy restaurants where people spend hundreds of dollars, but eats at simple restaurants that are very affordable. Number 14. Daniel Bryan if you're a wrestling lover, you probably know this guy, Daniel Bryan. A former World Heavyweight Champion and one of the headliners for WrestleMania is worth about 12 mil. While his career didn't last long due to an injury, he was able to make a name for himself and make some money too. Bryan doesn't live in a mansion with his wrestler wife, Brie Bella, who is also a well-paid athlete. This guy saves the wrapping paper when he receives a gift when it's possible so he can reuse it. He loves growing his own food and getting his own fuel. His wife shares the same money principle with him, which borders on waste not and want not ideology. I bet you not many of us can resist splashing our wealth. He's been called cheapskate, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's quite refreshing to know that some athletes are strict with their wealth. What's your take on managing wealth? Do you think you have to be frugal to maintain your millionaire status? Please let us know in the comments as we continue with this amazing list. Number 13. Alfred Morris 
Alfred Morris, who began his NFL career in 2012, is another name on the list who affirms not every wealthy fellow is extravagant. When he got picked by the NFL, he had the opportunity to buy luxury cars, mansions, and whatnot. But he didn't go down that path. He continued to be modest to the point of keeping his 1991 Mazda 626, which he calls his Bentley. He became a professional driving this car, which he bought from a pastor for $2. To keep it in good shape, the football star refurbished the car and added some perks like leather seating, a super sound system, and a backup camera. This car alone sums up his frugal nature, which has kept him happy, focused, and not at the risk of bankruptcy. Talk about being wise with your money. Number 12. Rob Gronkowski Rob Gronkowski's financial wisdom is something that's much talked about. According to Celebrity Net Worth, the iconic tight end is worth about 45 mil in 2023, and though retired, he's shown frivolous spending isn't his thing. During his career, he didn't touch his signing bonus of the NFL contract money. He lived solely on his endorsement proceeds and saved the rest of his money. Growing up with three brothers and wearing clothes that were hand-me-downs, he carried on with the practice even after getting rich, to the extent he wears his clothes till they're unwearable. According to him, he could wear a pair of jeans for seven days straight, washing them on day three to maintain hygiene. If I like the clothing, if I like the shoes, I'll wear those shoes and I'll wear that clothing down to the rags. Gronkowski told Maverick Carter during an interview on Uninterrupted's Needing Dough podcast. He affirmed this stance in an interview he had with CNBC Make It. I'm not a big shopping guy, I'm just not interested in clothes. To me, it seems like a complete waste of money. I just want to have enough clothes to cover legally what parts I have to cover. Gronkowski is a funny guy. Number 11. Kawhi Leonard If you saw Kawhi Leonard driving on the street, you'd never imagine he's one of the biggest shots in the NBA. Way back in 2015, the San Antonio Spurs signed a five-year contract of 90 mil, but he's not one to become lavish in his spendings. During summers, he was sent to stay in a two-bedroom apartment in California and drive a 20-year-old rehabbed 97 Chevy Tahoe, nicknamed Gas Guzzler. According to Mark Ziegler of the San Diego Union-Tribune, Leonard started driving the Chevy as a teenager and drove it eight years into his NBA career, finally dropping it in 2019. Despite his millionaire status, Leonard still clips coupons and was reported to have had a panic attack when he lost a Wingstop coupon booklet for free chicken wings. Wingstop, which Leonard sponsors, happily replenished his coupon booklet so he can continue to enjoy his free chicken wings. Kawhi Leonard is one rich NBA star who isn't interested in the glamour that comes with the job. He's just a typical average Joe. By the way, take a moment to hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, thanks for doing that. Number 10. Prince Amukamara Being thrifty doesn't mean you're a tight guy. It's all about being financially prudent, cutting excesses. New York Giants cornerback Prince Amukamara's net worth stands at $46 million, but he's an example of an athlete who isn't carried away by his huge bank account. Coming from a Nigerian royal bloodline, you wouldn't know he's royal because he's just like an average Joe. Way back in 2011, just after exiting Cornhuskers for NFL, he tweeted that he was looking at getting a good deal at Husker Auto. He headed for the used car section and got himself a well-bargained SUV and opted to pay cash, thereby getting it for a lower price. According to him, he prefers spending money on what he needs rather than what he wants. He told Redditors on an Ask Me Anything session that the most common mistakes rookies make is spending their money on wants and not needs. He explained that his favorite place to hang out is In-N-Out Burger, where meals are around $10. But it's worth noting that Amukamara once spent 10 grand decorating a Nebraska high school football team. So he's being prudent with his money most times. Number 9. LeBron James LeBron James is on this list because he's one of the richest NBA players who applies wisdom to his spending. Knowing tomorrow is important. 
Granted, he does drive luxury cars like Rolls-Royce Cullinan, Lamborghini Aventador Roadster, Ferrari 458 Spider, Porsche 918 Spider, and a Mercedes Maybach 575, but he's prudent with his money, investing in movies, wellness, sports ownership, and restaurants, which continue to yield him profits. Also, LeBron is known for his philanthropy, donating millions to charities every year. However, he's been called a cheapskate. During an interview with Rachel Nichols of ESPN in 2017, LeBron's former Miami Heat teammate Dwayne Wade called him the cheapest man in the NBA. LeBron didn't counter him. That is so, so falsely true, LeBron said. I'm not turning on data roaming. I'm not buying no apps. I still got Pandora with commercials, he added. During an Instagram Live session, his teammates Jared Dudley and Alex Caruso also called him the cheapest guy in the NBA. According to Dudley, LeBron avoids picking up tabs at restaurants, to which Caruso concurred. He's cheap, bro, Caruso said. That's one thing people don't realize. Rich people, bro, they want to keep their money. You can see how far LeBron, who's made up to $1 billion in his profession, goes to save some bucks. Let us know in the comments your thoughts on LeBron's stance on taking tabs at restaurants. And just look at the next star on our list and his crazy money-saving skills. Number 8. Carmelo Anthony One of Carmelo Anthony's famous statements on his frugality got people stunned. I go to the supermarket, make sure I get the newspaper and tear the coupons. Save a dollar or two, the New York's Knicks star once told Denver's CBS4 in 2011. Anthony, who's currently worth about $160 million, described how people looked at him confused as to why a multimillionaire was getting coupons from a newspaper to save a few cents on groceries. He explained his behavior by saying, I'm human too. He's one rich sports star that's humble. Number 7. Darius Hayward Bay Back in 2009, Sports Illustrated published a startling statistic. By the time they've been retired for two years, 78% of former NFL players have gone bankrupt or are under financial stress because of joblessness or divorce. This finding went viral and helped wise athletes to be wiser. Darius is one such wise athlete. The Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver, who's currently worth $14 million, also earned up to $38 million in salary during his active years, is well known for his frugal nature. He told ESPN during a 2016 interview that he saved most of his money by placing himself on a budget. His accountant mother helped him put his finances in order, placing him on an allowance. I grew up knowing what to spend and what not to spend, he said in an interview. It's easy when you don't have money to not spend. That's how I grew up. He even canceled his cable during football season every year when he wouldn't be home to watch it. I keep things real simple, he said. I'm not really a flashy guy. I understand what I want to buy. I invest my money well and pay my taxes. However, he declined sharing the exact figures of his allowance. He told the SBN that the pit keeps growing because he doesn't spend much of that money. Financial wisdom can really save a lot of rich folks from future bankruptcy. Number 6. John Urschel John Urschel, former NFL player, earned as much as $1.8 million over just three seasons with the Baltimore Ravens. He was 26 when he retired in 2017, but he wasn't the type to showcase his wealth. In fact, we know that while he earned as much as $600,000 in 2016, he chose to live on a $25,000 per year budget, driving a used Nissan Versa that he bought for nine grand. What this meant was Urschel was living on just 4% of his salary in 2016, saving as much as 96% of the rest. According to him, he didn't survive on a modest 25 grand per year and drive a used car because I'm frugal or trying to save for some big purchase. It's because the things I love the most in this world, reading, math, doing research, playing chess, are very, very inexpensive. 
Herschel, who completed his PhD at MIT, focused on matrix analysis and computations, is now a math professor at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, one of the 16 new faculty members in MIT's School of Science for the fall 2023 semester. While he played at the NFL, he quietly pursued his PhD in mathematics. He was wise to think of the next thing he would do after retiring from football. His net worth is currently $1.5 million. Number 5. Joe Flacco When Joe Flacco signed a six-year contract with the Baltimore Ravens in 2013, he became the highest-paid NFL player at the time. The quarterback was reported to have celebrated his signing in an unexpected manner at the Golden Arches. Armed with a $29 million signing bonus and the promise of a total of $52 million guaranteed over the life of the contract, Flacco rolled down his window at the McDonald's drive-thru in Aberdeen, Maryland, after ordering a 10-piece McNugget meal with fries and an unsweetened iced tea for $6.99. ESPN reported in 2013, with a net worth of $85 million in 2023, Flacco is one rich sports star who believes in living the simple life. Number 4. Jordy Nelson Jordy Nelson from Kansas is a legendary NFL receiver who's known for his average Joe lifestyle. Nelson, who's made as much as $56 million in his NFL career, is known by his teammates to be extremely cheap, as they put it. Oh, I'm extremely cheap, Nelson once said on the Dan LeBetard show in 2015. Even now in the NFL on road trips, we get a per diem to go out and have dinner with everyone, like with the receivers or whatnot. I'll just stay in the hotel, wait until snack at 9 o'clock to eat dinner and not pay for food. Libertar was naturally taken aback and asked Nelson if he was actually hoarding the per diem and living off the team's snacks. Nelson simply replied, yeah. Nelson's father, Alan, confirmed his son's frugal nature, which he claimed was a family thing when he gave some details about his son's financial management as published in a 2014 Sports Illustrated feature, where Tim Layden narrated what Nelson's father said. Jordy has filthy money. But look at the property he bought. It's got junk equipment, trees that need trimming, Allen said. He'll deal with it when he gets home. He's not going to hire somebody to do it, he added. Number 3. Kirk Cousins This list cannot be complete without adding Kirk Cousins' name. Cousins, who was earning $24 million a year, spent his summers in his parents' basement with his wife Julie. The NFL star usually moved to a warmer climate during the first few months of the year, and the basement of his parents' home in Michigan was the ideal. It works well, he told Clay Skipper of GQ. We don't pay rent. This is coming from an athlete who became the highest paid NFL player in 2018 when he signed a historic $84 million deal with the Minnesota Vikings. Even after his parents moved to Florida, the ritual didn't change. The quarterback did his workouts in his parents' driveway during coronavirus. You can see too much money didn't change his vacation ideals. Cousins also continued to drive a 15-year-old van. A 2000 GMC Savannah conversion van he bought from his grandma for five grand, which he called the Grey Ghost or Gandalf the Grey. The van, which he eventually stopped driving in 2018, made headlines when he drove it to practice during his time in Washington, D.C. He also had a 2006 Mercedes S65 AMG as of 2017. It's better to buy appreciating than depreciating, Cousins once told Wall Street Journal's Kevin Clark in 2016. No yachts, no sports car. Cousins made sure he was financially stable before finally buying a lakefront property with his wife, where they're building a four-bedroom home. Cousins understands very well that any careless spending can be disastrous no matter how fat your salary might be as a sports star. You don't know how long you're gonna play. You've gotta save every dollar even though you're making a good salary. You never know what's gonna happen. So I try to put as much money away as I can, he told Clark. Number 2. Bryce Harper 
Bryce Harper is a sports figure who made headlines when he signed a 13-year contract worth $330 million with the Philadelphia Phillies in 2019, which was the second biggest in baseball history. The six-time All-Star who was with the Washington Nationals until 2018 continues to live a simple lifestyle. He loves riding his bicycle and loves going to this restaurant where the food is super affordable. He became so regular that the restaurant recognized him and awarded him free burritos for life. That's hilarious. Number 1. Daniel Norris Known as the pitcher who lived in a van, a fact that shocked many after he signed a $2 million contract with the Toronto Blue Jays in 2011 in the second round of the MLB draft. But that didn't seem to bother Norris, who was from Johnson City, Tennessee as he was happy living in his old Volkswagen bus from where he slept, ate, and relaxed. His love for nature makes him a sort of clean hippie, his fellow teammates once said. He usually spent his free time cruising at night, enjoying nature's beauty in all its simplicity. This young millionaire loves hiking, surfing, photography, and virtually anything that's connected to the outdoors. Looking at him, one would see a young man at ease with himself, in love with nature and life in general. According to him, people have allowed technology to distract them from other important things. Technology can blind us from what really matters in the world like love and balance, he once said. During off-seasons, he drove out to the nearest Walmart and did pull-ups on their cart racks. He's been described as always upbeat and cheery, who hardly gets mad over anything. According to the soft-spoken Norris, when he got signed by Toronto Blue Jays, as an 18-year-old out of high school, he ran to God for strength. I prayed, God, please don't let the money change me, he said. I was 18 and I hadn't seen a lot of the world, but I've seen what money does to people. It makes them into something that they're not. When Norris didn't go to Clemson University on a scholarship for a pro bonus, he didn't take the money and disappear. He took the money and gave it to those he felt needed assistance. He donated money to the Central Church of Christ in his hometown. He also gave money to travel teams he played for and took care of his parents. He didn't go for diamonds or gold. He wore simple clothes, no designers. He didn't go for any real estate or golf membership. His anti-materialism tendency comes from family and personal philosophy. His famous van is a rusty but roadworthy 1978 Volkswagen minibus, which he called Shaggy, in homage to Scooby-Doo. The van has a way of focusing you, Norris said at the time. If you have anything in excess, it's just too crowded, too hectic. You won't believe that these nine extremely rich NBA players live like average Joes. From using coupons to driving vintage cars, these players choose frugality to focus on more important things in life. Number 9. Matthew Dellavedova – million dollars. Matthew Dellavedova is a big deal in the basketball world. He's not just won the NBA but Olympic medals as well, and has played over 500 NBA games. But his lifestyle is not like many of us might have expected. According to sources, before the game, Matthew goes out looking for free food. Yep, you heard that right. For example, when playing for the Cleveland Cavaliers, he left his team's room in the big Staples Center to find some free food. He didn't do this because he was broke. The guy is a millionaire with a net worth of $1 million. His intentions were simple. He's just a down-to-earth guy. He credits his upbringing and family values with grounding him. Matthew Delavidova's parents, Mark and Leanne, set an example of hard work. His father drives buses and deals with land development, while his mother is a schoolteacher. So unlike him, they were not millionaires. They had to work hard for their families. His parents spent countless hours driving young Matthew to games when he played for Maryborough and Bendigo. And they even bought plane tickets and accompanied him so he could play in tournaments. Now Matthew wants to give back to them. He's looking forward to taking care of his parents and repaying them for all the hours and sacrifices they made for him and his sisters. So it doesn't matter if he doesn't get fancy meals, he just wants to stick to his roots. Just like Matthew Dellavedova, the next NBA player prefers his family's comfort over extravagance. Number 8. Herbert Jones – $5 million 
New Orleans Pelicans Herbert Jones is raking in some good cash and has a fortune of $5 million. But did you know that he likes getting his clothes for free? Shocking, right? He is entirely the opposite of many NBA stars who have a stylist to pick their clothes for them. Herbert is not the one to follow that path. He prefers to rock the comfy gear provided by his team, the New Orleans Pelicans. You're probably wondering why he does that. Well, he wears Pelicans gear not to show off, but because he wants to save money. He's more concerned about his family and their well-being. He doesn't care what people think about how he looks as long as his family is doing better. What a family-oriented guy. Plus, he's fine with being careful with his money to make sure that his family will be fine in the future. He thinks about his children and even his grandchildren being able to get a good education without gathering debt because of what he earned in the NBA. But his thriftiness is not just about his clothes. Surprisingly, he still drives the same car he had in college, a 2018 Dodge Charger, and he plans to keep on using it until it stops running. For now, he's happy as his trusty car still gets him to the gym. Herbert's mantra is quite simple, save more than you spend, and he doesn't hold back on sharing that wisdom with others. He often suggests his teammates do the same thing. He loves to joke with them about their spending habits and then reminds them to start saving. In reply, they tell him that he'll make plenty of money and should have a good time, but he knows he's being smart. Herbert Jones's life motto is pretty inspiring, and the next NBA star on our list has an equally unique way of living. Number 7. Trey Burke – $6 million The point guard for the Dallas Mavericks, Trey Burke, came back to the team in 2020 after a short time with the 76ers. His salary for the 2020-21 season was $3 million, but when he was with the 76ers, he earned only $229,220. Even though Trey makes a lot of money, he's not a big spender like many other players. In fact, he actually sets budgets for himself. He limits himself to spending just five grand per month. According to Trey, this helps him stay humble and live like an average middle-class American. And this has a lot to do with his upbringing in a working-class family. When he made it to the pros, he hired financial managers to help him handle his money. That was a smart move. Money does get to your head sometimes. Even the NBA teaches young players how to manage their finances, and his old team, the Utah Jazz, also gave him extra guidance. Trey's financial discipline is impressive, considering he has a net worth of about $6 million and could easily spend more, but he chooses to be responsible with his money. Our next NBA player has a net worth that is double that of Trey's, and yet he also lives like an average Joe. Number 6. Matt Bonner, $12 million The former Toronto Raptors player Matt Bonner was quite the star in his day. He also had the honor of winning two NBA championships with the Spurs. But it's not just his career that makes him the talk of the town. No, he's often the subject of discussion because of his humble lifestyle. Despite having a net worth of around $12 million, he keeps his expenses low. To understand why he does that, it's important to talk a bit about his backstory. His financial struggles in his younger years influenced his frugal lifestyle. Living in Europe with very little money taught him to be financially responsible. When he lived in Toronto, he didn't even have a car. He just didn't think he needed it in a city that has good public transportation. People often saw him on the bus or train on his way to the basketball arena downtown. According to Matt, if he still lived and worked downtown, he might never have owned a car. However, when he moved to San Antonio, it got a little harder to avoid it, so he gave in and bought his first car. Can you guess which car he bought? If you're expecting something flashy, you're gonna be disappointed. Matt Bonner got his hands on a 2006 Pontiac Grand Prix, and he went all the way to New Hampshire so that he could avoid paying extra taxes on it. And he still drives the same car he got when he started in the NBA. He could have bought lots of expensive cars, but he didn't fall down that rabbit hole. When we told you that he's good at money saving, we meant it. Another way he avoids paying more is by saying no to extra chicken when he stops for lunch at Subway. The NBA star doesn't want to pay the additional $2. He even used to wear low-cost sneakers until he bagged a deal for free ones. Nothing beats free shoes when it comes to saving money. Matt has a thoughtful life philosophy. 
He believes that the best things in life are free. Even today, he enjoys his solar-powered Casio watch just as much as a fancy Rolex. His Casio has a stopwatch and an alarm, so it does the job. Matt thinks that having a fancy Rolex would mean not having an alarm or stopwatch. Both these things are essential for his routine. His watch might look a bit 80s, but it makes him feel nostalgic and warm inside. The plus point is that it's solar-powered, so no worries if the battery dies. Our next basketball player had a tough early life, similar to Matt Bonner, which influenced some of his habits. Number 5. Jimmy Butler $80 million Jimmy Butler stepped into the NBA spotlight with the Chicago Bulls in 2011. Soon he became a fan favorite, as many people noticed his impressive talent. Things were going really well. Throughout his career, he made some really great money and has a staggering net worth of $80 million. However, it wasn't always like this. Life was not always a sweet dream for him. His early life was difficult. Tragically, he lost his parents when he was just a teenager. After that, life was tough for him, but basketball became his safe place. Those days taught him some valuable lessons and instilled discipline in him. He kept the values close to his heart and made sure never to forget his humble beginnings. Even at the peak of his career, Jimmy tried to follow a modest lifestyle. During the NBA Finals, instead of ordering coffee, he had a coffee machine in his hotel room. And if any of his teammates asked for it, he would charge them $20 for a cup. So he wasn't just cutting down on his own expenses, he was earning some money too. Interestingly, his love for coffee was the driving force behind his coffee brand, Big Face Coffee. Jimmy also helps others, and he's a huge supporter of charities that provide for needy kids and families. His giving spirit comes from his own past. He understands how important it is to uplift others, just like someone did for him. I guess he thinks that's a more important thing to spend money on. Coming up next is an NBA star who has the exact same net worth as Jimmy and he's just as careful with his spending. Number 4. Kawhi Leonard – $80 million Kawhi Leonard is not your typical NBA star, and he's not a fan of stardom. He even prefers to stay out of the association's spotlight and focuses only on the game. And the most surprising thing is that even though he's got a fortune of $80 million, he's not a big spender. He was super easy to spot for years because he used to drive around in a vintage car, a 1997 Chevy Tahoe. It was the same car he'd had since he was a teenager. He nicknamed it Gas Guzzler. Even after eight years into his NBA career, he still drove the Gas Guzzler, and that car was only worth a tiny fraction of his yearly salary. Someone once asked him why he still drove that old car, and he replied that it worked fine and he liked that he didn't owe any money on it. Finally, in 2016, he decided that it was time for an upgrade. Nowadays, he does own a Porsche, but you'll rarely see him taking it out for a spin. Here's another fact about Kawhi that you might not know. He is also an avid coupon collector and loves to use them whenever he goes out to eat. He's a sponsor for Wingstop, a chicken wing restaurant, and he doesn't mind eating down there even though he's a millionaire. As part of his deal with Wingstop, he gets free coupons to eat there all over the US. He considers that a huge perk. Even after Kawhi signed a huge $94 million contract, he still used those coupons. Some of his teammates reported that if he ever lost them during road trips, he would panic. But lucky for him, when that happens, Wingstop just sends him some more. Next on our list is another NBA star player who doesn't mind living like an average Joe. His focus is more on long-term goals. Number 3. Draymond Green – $90 million Draymond Green is an accomplished basketball player with an impressive career in the NBA. He's won the NBA championship four times and has been an NBA All-Star four times too. Moreover, he's also been on the All-NBA team twice and has two Olympic gold medals. His brilliant career helped him make a massive fortune of about 90 mil. When Draymond first joined the Golden State Warriors, he had to leave his home in Michigan, where he had lived for 22 years. He asked his new teammates where to live in the Bay Area and decided to pick a unique yet simple apartment in Emeryville. 
Draymond could have selected a posh place to live, but he didn't. He made a sensible decision. Unlike most NBA rookies, Draymond is careful with his money. During the Las Vegas Summer League, he ate small meals to save some of his cash. Draymond even shops at budget-friendly stores like Pack and Save, and he's focused on maintaining his financial stability. He has a laid-back approach to life because of the hardships he's faced. Draymond is forward-thinking and knows that basketball won't last forever. So, he takes his financial future seriously. He aims to become a billionaire by the time he's 40. To achieve this goal, he's already making smart investments and planning for his life beyond basketball. Similar to Draymond Green, the next NBA player is big on saving for the future. Number 2. Carmelo Anthony $170 million The NBA veteran Carmelo Anthony was powerful and successful. He made it to the NBA All-Star team 10 times and was chosen for the All-NBA team 6 times. Now everyone is a fan of keeping some cash in their wallet, right? And you might not expect that from someone like Carmelo, especially when he has a huge net worth of $170 million, but he deserves his spot on this list. Even when he was playing for the Oklahoma City Thunder and New York Knicks, where he earned a reasonable sum of money, he didn't forget to save. He has a practical habit for saving some cash. He's a big fan of using coupons to get some good discounts. Carmelo's frugality is real. He looks for coupons in Sunday newspapers to catch deals at the supermarket. Just imagine how store clerks react when they catch on to who he is and see how he manages his money. Carmelo once shared that people at the store stared at him in confusion, not understanding why a millionaire like him was doing that. But Carmelo is just like us. He's down to earth and humble, even though he has all that fame and fortune. He reminds everyone that he too is a human, a regular guy who likes to save a few bucks here and there. Carmelo is relatable, which is one of the reasons why his fans love him. He's far from being the richest player on our list though. The frugal player in our number one spot might shock you, because he's not just a millionaire anymore. Number 1. LeBron James – $1.1 billion LeBron James is the highest scorer ever in the NBA and is at the top of our list. But you're probably shocked to see him on this list, since he's one of the richest NBA players of all time. We know it's unbelievable to see someone with a net worth of 1.1 bill living like an average Joe, but he does. Despite having the means to buy anything he desires, this legend is quite money conscious. LeBron James is not as extravagant with his money as some of his fellow athletes. Instead of an expensive sports car, he drives a Kia, and sometimes he doesn't even take it out of the garage. People have seen him riding a bike to practice. He thinks cycling has its benefits. First, he stays in good shape. Second, he saves some money on gas. Lastly, it's an environmentally friendly practice. What a guy! To be fair, LeBron James doesn't keep all that money in the bank. He's a well-known philanthropist who gives millions to charities every year. On the flip side, he's quite thrifty in his personal matters. Back in 2017, Dwayne Wade, LeBron's former Miami Heat teammate, gave him the nickname the cheapest man in the NBA during an ESPN interview, and LeBron just chuckled in response. His teammates have also shared an interesting story about him. He avoids using his phone's mobile data plan and connects to the internet instead. He lives like a poor college student, hopping between Wi-Fi spots. Now, the average American cell phone bill is around $70. And technically, that's nothing when you have a billion dollars. But it's still $70 more he can save, I guess. And it doesn't end there. While he was with the Cleveland Cavaliers, some of LeBron's teammates noticed that he stuck to the free version of Spotify for his music. So, the locker room's music often got interrupted by ads because he didn't want to pay a few bucks each month for the premium subscription. LeBron James uses another music app, Pandora, for his playlist, but he doesn't have a subscription to that either. Instead of splurging money, he makes some smart moves. For example, he invests his money wisely in things like wellness, movies, and restaurants. This makes him a clever entrepreneur. You won't believe how these extremely rich NASCAR drivers live like average Joes. But just how modestly do they manage their millions? Let's dive in and discover. Number 10. Ken Schrader 
$25 million. Ken Schrader, at age 65, defies the typical image of a retired NASCAR driver. With a net worth of 25 mil, Schrader could easily enjoy a life of luxury. Instead, he opts for a relentless racing schedule. He's participated in 66 starts in his self-owned Dirt Late Models and Dirt Open Wheel Modifieds across 17 states and a Canadian province. His continued passion for racing, despite his substantial wealth, highlights his down-to-earth nature. Schrader's racing career is remarkable, spanning over five decades with more than 1,200 NASCAR starts across various series. This includes Cup, Xfinity, and Craftsman. His record extends to 123 Automobile Racing Club of America Menard starts and numerous races in the United States Auto Club Series. In 2022 alone, he raced in the full six-race superstar racing experience and even a school bus race, aiming for a 75-80 to 80 start season. This workload is typical for Schrader, who has regularly raced throughout his career. Aside from racing, Schrader owns the Federated Auto Parts Raceway in Peebley, Missouri. He spends around 30 days a year driving two-seaters with Federated executives and customers, showcasing his hands-on approach to business ventures. Despite his wealth and status, he describes his life as normal, stating, For me, this is as normal a lifestyle as it can be. Schrader's humility extends beyond the track. He doesn't flaunt his wealth or seek extravagant lifestyles. Instead, he finds contentment in the thrill of racing and the camaraderie it brings. His attitude toward his age and career is nonchalant, as he remarks, Seems like I've been doing this forever. Really, I'm just playing. With no signs of slowing down, Schrader continues to race across the country, unbothered by not having competed in all 50 states. His wife, Anne, humorously notes, He has no other skills or hobbies. Schrader's dedication to living for his passion and not his millions is shared by other NASCAR drivers, too. Number 9. Michael Waltrip – $35 million Michael Waltrip, a former NASCAR driver with a net worth of 35 mil, reflects a down-to-earth lifestyle despite his success in the racing world. Born in Owensboro, Kentucky, Waltrip's career in NASCAR spans over three decades, with notable achievements including two Daytona 500 wins. Despite these accomplishments, he leads a life that contrasts significantly with the lavish lifestyle often associated with high-profile athletes. Waltrip's humility is evident in his interactions. When asked if he ever lies about his identity, he simply states, no. I just say my name is Daryl, and I'm retired, and I live in Tennessee. This response reflects his desire for normalcy and an unassuming life away from the racetrack. His approach to life extends to his fitness and health. Recently, Waltrip embarked on a personal improvement journey, losing over 50 pounds and enhancing his physical strength. He credits intermittent fasting and a shift in lifestyle during the COVID-19 pandemic for this transformation. Waltrip's dedication to fitness is not a newfound interest. He previously ran marathons during his racing career to maintain his endurance, stating, You might outrun me, but you'll never outlast me. Waltrip's business ventures also demonstrate his grounded approach. He recently launched the Michael Waltrip Brewing Company, inspired by a casual conversation with friends. Rather than pursuing extravagant endeavors, his business is rooted in a genuine interest and a simple idea born from personal experience. In his interactions with other drivers, Waltrip displays a sense of humor and relatability, particularly when discussing radio communications during races. He finds amusement in the boldness exhibited by drivers over the radio, a trait he's witnessed and experienced firsthand. The next NASCAR driver on our list is a controversial figure in the NASCAR world, but his approach to life remains humble. Number 8. Kurt Busch – $40 million Kurt Busch, a NASCAR driver with a net worth of 40 mil, has a story that challenges the typical narrative of a racing superstar. He was from Las Vegas, a city not historically known for producing NASCAR talent. This is why Busch's entry into the sport was somewhat unconventional. His career began in the wake of a tragic incident involving Chris Trickle. Bush replaced Trickle in the NASCAR Winter Heat Series. He displayed remarkable talent and competed against renowned drivers like Ron Hornaday Jr. and Kevin Harvick. Bush's ascent in NASCAR was rapid. 
winning Rookie of the Year in 1998 and the Series Championship in 1999 in late model racing, he caught the attention of Jack Roush. Bush's first significant break came through a TV show, which led him to a Truck Series ride in the 1999 Ford. Despite skepticism about his unconventional start, he proved his spirit by winning multiple races and narrowly missing the series championship. However, Bush's journey in NASCAR was not without controversy. He gained a bad reputation for his feuds with other drivers, particularly with Jimmy Spencer, which earned him the reputation of the villain of NASCAR. This reputation was further cemented when he became the first winner of the Nextel Cup under NASCAR's controversial chase format. In 2005, after a dull season, Bush left Roush Racing for Team Penske, replacing the legendary Rusty Wallace in the number 2 Miller Lite Dodge. This move was unpopular and, for a time, made him one of the most disliked figures in American professional sports. His tenure with Penske was marked by wins and conflicts, leading to his departure from the team. Bush's career took a turn when he joined Phoenix Racing in the 1951 Chevrolet for the 2012 season. This phase was the lowest point in his career, characterized by on-track incidents and off-track controversies. However, Bush managed to turn his fortunes around. Joining Furniture Row Racing and later Stuart Haas Racing, he revitalized his career, winning races including the prestigious Daytona 500 in 2017 and showing impressive consistency. Kurt Busch's transformation from a controversial figure to a respected veteran in the sport is proof of his resilience and adaptability. The next NASCAR driver on our list is known to enjoy both his racing endeavors and the life it brings with it. Number 7. Denny Hamlin – $45 million Denny Hamlin, a NASCAR driver with a net worth of 45 mil, is renowned for his racing achievements and association with basketball legend Michael Jordan in the 2311 racing team. Born in Tampa, Florida, Hamlin has carved a niche for himself in the racing world, marked by consistent performance and notable victories. In celebrity and sports, Hamlin stands out for his clear approach to fame and finance. This was particularly evident when he clarified myths surrounding Michael Jordan's gambling habits, a subject often shrouded in speculation and sensationalism. In 2019, amidst rumors about Jordan's alleged gambling losses, Hamlin, during a conversation with Dan Patrick, shed light on the reality of these claims. He indicated that while gambling did occur, the amounts were not as staggering as reported, emphasizing, a few thousand would exchange hands, but nothing that'll make those guys nervous, uh, uncomfortable. Hamlin's partnership with Jordan in forming the 2311 racing team is proof of his business sense and forward-thinking approach. Jordan's entry into NASCAR, with Hamlin as a co-partner, marked a significant moment in the sport's history. Jordan's condition to Hamlin was clear and ambitious. I don't want to get in there just to go around and watch races. I want to win. This statement reflects a shared commitment to excellence and success beyond mere participation. Despite his considerable wealth, Hamlin's persona remains grounded. His ability to navigate the glamorous world of sports while maintaining a realistic perspective on matters like finance and fame is commendable. His involvement in high-stakes ventures like 2311 racing and a sensible approach to life's flashier aspects demonstrate a balance between ambition and practicality. Upcoming on our list, Bush leads a simple life with his wife, despite his wealth. Number 6. Kyle Busch – $50 million Kyle Busch, with a net worth of 50 mil, is recognized for his skills on the racetracks and his life as a family man. Known for his racing achievements with Richard Childress Racing, Bush's life off the track is quite ordinary, revolving around his wife Samantha and their two children. Despite his glamorous professional life, Bush's domestic life shows him as a typical family man, although with a touch of humor. Samantha Bush recently shared a lighthearted glimpse into their household life, highlighting Kyle's less-than-perfect adherence to household chores. In an amusing Instagram post, she playfully exposed Kyle's habit of leaving clothes around the laundry basket, rather than inside it. The caption, You can do it! alongside a video of the clothes scattered around the basket, brought a humorous side to Kyle's domestic shortcomings. This insight into Bush's household life reveals a relatable aspect to the NASCAR star. 
It shows that despite his immense success and wealth, his home life is filled with the same family time that many share. His laid-back attitude towards household chores contrasts with the intense focus and dedication he displays on the racetrack. Kyle Busch's off-track life demonstrates that beneath the helmet and racing suit lies a regular person dealing with everyday family dynamics. His interaction with his family provides fans a glimpse into a professional athlete's life's more personal and down-to-earth side. For our next NASCAR driver, the focus is not on his money but on his passion and how he's sharing it with his family. Number 5. Jeff Burton – $55 million Jeff Burton, with a net worth of 55 mil, hails from a family deeply rooted in professional racing. Born in South Boston, Virginia on June 29, 1967, Burton was introduced to racing by his father, John Burton, starting with go-karts and progressing to stock cars and late models during his teenage years. His early years were spent honing his skills at the South Boston Speedway, leading to his participation in the Bush Series in the late 1980s. Burton's professional career took off in the Winston Cup Series with Filmar Racing, where he claimed his first race victory in 1993. This achievement was quickly followed by being named NASCAR Rookie of the Year in 1994. His career continued to ascend as he joined Roush Racing in 1996, driving a Ford Thunderbird, and later moved to Richard Childress Racing in 2004. Over his career, Burton accumulated 21 wins, 6 pole positions, and 248 top 10 finishes. He also engaged in research and development with Michael Waltrip Racing and transitioned into a media commentator role post-retirement. This second career in media has allowed him to maintain a significant income, working as an analyst for NBC and continuing his association with motorsports. Off the track, Burton is a family man, married to Kim with two children, including his son Harrison, who follows in his father's footsteps as a NASCAR Cup Series driver. His family's involvement in construction, with his brother Brian at the helm, signifies the Burton's diverse business interest. His income was significantly increased by brand sponsorships, including deals with SKF, Sitgo, PDVSA, and Caterpillar. His substantial wealth is reflected in his property portfolio, which includes a luxurious estate in Huntersville, North Carolina. Jeff Burton's journey from a championship-winning driver to a respected media analyst demonstrates his lasting impact on American motorsports. He remains influential in NASCAR, shaping the next generation of racers and continuing to contribute through his media presence. Next up, this NASCAR driver is both a fan favorite and also known for her thrifty spending habits. Number 4. Danica Patrick – $60 million Danica Patrick, with a net worth of 60 mil, is both a trendsetter in the racing world and a savvy financial manager. As a fan favorite both on and off the track, Patrick has received significant attention and endorsements. This includes a long-standing partnership with GoDaddy, highlighted by her appearances in 13 Super Bowl commercials. Her full-time racing in the Sprint Cup Series boosted her earnings considerably, making her one of the highest-paid female athletes in 2014, according to Forbes. Apart from her racing skills, Patrick's approach to managing her wealth is noteworthy. Recognizing the importance of expert financial advice, she employs two private certified public accountants to oversee her finances. This smart money move ensures her earnings and investments are managed efficiently and effectively. One of her certified public accountants focuses specifically on her day-to-day -day finances, handling all payments and deposits, a role Patrick describes as the comptroller of my money. Patrick's financial strategy extends beyond employing professionals. She understands the value of daily financial oversight. This hands-on approach to money management helps avoid common financial pitfalls such as late fees or overdraft charges. It's a principle she believes can be applied by anyone, with or without the help of a certified public accountant. By regularly monitoring finances, one can ensure spending stays within budget and financial health remains strong. Danica Patrick's success is not limited to the racetrack. Her sensible financial practices and the emphasis on continuous management of her wealth exemplify a disciplined approach to personal finance. Her methods highlight the importance of financial literacy and the benefits of seeking expert advice to make informed decisions. For the next driver on our list, financial struggles were a part of the early life that shaped his approach to money growing up. 
Number 3. Jimmy Johnson $120 million Jimmy Johnson, a NASCAR driver with a net worth of $120 million, exemplifies a story of perseverance and humility. From his early days as a rookie in California, Johnson faced financial challenges, demonstrating a resourceful and grounded approach to life. Before his rise to fame, he struggled to pay rent, resorting to doing chores and cooking for roommates, including his signature barbecued shrimp tacos as a means to contribute. Johnson's journey in the racing world is marked by hard work and dedication. He began his career racing in the Bush Series and gradually worked his way up. Despite his massive earnings in recent years, Johnson's early financial struggles instilled in him a sense of humility and the importance of managing finances wisely. This perspective helped shape his approach to wealth and success. Throughout his career, Johnson has been known for his strategic decisions, both on and off the track. He was once presented with a contract by Chip Ganassi Racing, but declined to sign immediately, preferring to consider the offer thoroughly. This cautious approach to his career choices reflects his thoughtful nature and understanding of the importance of alignment with his values and long-term goals. Johnson's interaction with team owner Rick Hendrick, as recounted in the story of the Facebook Live incident, further highlights his down-to-earth personality. Despite his high profile, Johnson maintains a sense of humor and a personable demeanor, characteristics that have endeared him to fans and colleagues alike. Today, Jimmy Johnson is celebrated for his racing achievements and character. His journey from financial struggles to becoming one of the most successful drivers in NASCAR history serves as an inspiration. The next NASCAR driver on our list is known for his decorated career and modesty. Number 2. Jeff Gordon – $200 million Jeff Gordon, with a net worth of 200 mil, is celebrated as a NASCAR driver and model of practical financial management. From an early age, Gordon displayed a remarkable knack for seizing opportunities, as evidenced by his initiative at 14 to secure a sponsorship for free oil for a sprint car. This early experience, recounted by ESPN, showcased his fearless approach to negotiations and an understanding of the value of self-advocacy. Throughout his career, Gordon's financial savvy extended beyond just earning to include mindful spending. Despite the substantial wealth accumulated over his successful racing career, Gordon and his wife, Ingrid Vendebosch, made a deliberate decision to live a more modest lifestyle, especially after the birth of their first child in 2007. This decision marked a significant shift in his personal life, where he chose to cut down on luxury items and services. Gordon reduced his personal staff, decided against owning a yacht with a full-time crew, and opted to lease out his private jet through an airplane motor pool, demonstrating a practical approach to managing his assets. Gordon's lifestyle choices reflect a desire to remain grounded and involved in his family life. Contrary to the expectations that come with wealth, he and his wife take an active role in parenting. As Gordon stated in an ESPN interview in 2007, they personally attend to tasks like changing diapers and feeding their baby, a choice that defies the stereotypical celebrity lifestyle. Jeff Gordon's approach to wealth and fame is marked by a down-to-earth attitude and a commitment to maintaining a semblance of normalcy in his personal life. His journey demonstrates that even those with substantial wealth can choose a more grounded and modest lifestyle. Like Gordon, the final NASCAR driver on our list does not focus on the money. His focus is on the game. Number 1. Dale Earnhardt Jr. $400 million Dale Earnhardt Jr., with an impressive net worth of $400 million, stands out as a race car legend and a wise financial manager. In the period from June 2013 to June 2014 alone, he earned $14.9 million from racing, according to Forbes. His empire extends beyond the racetrack, including many successful ventures. One of them is owning two Whiskey River bars and earning $11 million from endorsements in one year. This combination of earnings from racing and other ventures brought his total annual income to a staggering $25.9 million. This makes him the highest-paid driver in NASCAR. Additionally, his popularity is unmatched, as he was voted NASCAR's most popular driver for the 11th consecutive year in 2013. 
Despite his substantial earnings, Earnhardt has learned to manage his wealth wisely. He acknowledges the learning curve he experienced regarding financial matters, as reported by ESPN. In the early stages of his career, Earnhardt admitted to not fully understanding the value of money and its long-term implications. However, as his career progressed, he realized the importance of saving and being financially alert. He emphasized the need to build a nest egg and take baby steps in financial planning. Earnhardt's approach to wealth management is a lesson in financial judgment. He highlights the importance of starting small with savings, even if it's just a few dollars each week. This strategy helps in stretching current earnings and also lays the foundation for a strong financial future. It's a method that can be beneficial for anyone, regardless of their income level. Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s story is one of both professional success and smart financial planning. His journey from a racing superstar to a savvy businessman and investor highlights the significance of understanding and responsibly managing well. His approach demonstrates that regardless of the level of income, financial awareness and economic management are key to securing a stable financial future. While these NASCAR drivers might be living surprisingly modest lives, not everyone in the world of sports is quite as thrifty. Welcome back to the show. Grunt. Prepare to be amazed as we reveal the hidden lives of NFL giants. While 15% of their peers declare bankruptcy, these extremely rich NFL stars choose to live just like the average Joe. Let's take a look at the inspiring stories of financial wisdom, humble lifestyles, and unexpected choices that set them apart. From budgeting secrets to frugal habits, we'll unravel the captivating world of these athletes who defy the odds, showcasing that financial security goes far beyond the scoreboard. Rob Brinkowski, not every pro athlete splurges on flashy cars and mansions. Some, like Rob Brinkowski, choose to defy the stereotypes and live like they're pinching pennies. Imagine being paid a hefty $8 million base salary for one season, with that figure climbing to $9 million the next. Most folks would be tempted to dive headfirst into a life of luxury, but not Gronk. This NFL superstar, one of the league's highest paid tight ends, has a surprising secret. He hasn't spent one dime of my signing bonus or NFL contract money since he burst onto the professional scene in 2010, as he candidly revealed in his 2015 book, It's Good to Be Gronk. Instead of relying on his NFL earnings, Grankowski lives off his endorsement money. It's a rare approach in the world of professional sports, where opulence often reigns supreme. But perhaps the most charming quirk of Gronk's frugal lifestyle is his attitude towards clothing. While some athletes are known for their extravagant wardrobes. Gronk proudly embraces his broken habit of wearing the same clothing and shoes over and over again. If I like the clothing, if I like the shoes, I'll wear those shoes and I'll wear that clothing down to the racks, he quipped during a 2018 episode of Kneading Dough. Picture this, Grinkowski sporting a cherished pair of jeans for a staggering seven days straight. And just to keep things hygienic, he makes sure to toss them in the washer around day three. It's a testament to his down-to-earth approach to life proving that even in the world of professional sports, you can choose simplicity over extravagance. Kirk Cousins Kirk Cousins' lifestyle is a captivating departure from the typical extravagance associated with professional athletes. His choice to live modestly and simply in his parents' basement during the NFL offseason is rooted in his deeply ingrained values and a sense of practicality that has shaped his perspective on life. What inspired Cousins to embrace this unassuming lifestyle is a blend of his upbringing and personal philosophy. Growing up in a tight-knit family in Holland, Michigan, he was instilled with the values of humility, family, and frugality. These values are at the core of his identity and have played a pivotal role in shaping his lifestyle choices. For Cousins, it's not about flaunting his wealth or living a life of excess. Instead, it's about staying connected to his roots and the people who have been with him since the beginning of his journey. Living in his parents' basement is a symbolic gesture of gratitude and a way to remain close to his family. His choice of driving a dented GMC Savannah passenger van, a vehicle with a story and sentimental value, further reinforces his commitment to practicality over extravagance. This decision reflects his belief that material possessions should not define one's worth or happiness. 
Ryan Kerrigan, despite signing a lucrative five-year, $57.5 million contract back in 2015, NFL pass rushing sensation Ryan Kerrigan of the Washington Redskins proved that frugality knows no bounds. Kerrigan's off-field choices were as impressive as his on-field prowess, showcasing a humble and down-to-earth lifestyle that defy the stereotypes of extravagant athlete living. The standout feature of Kerrigan's simple lifestyle was his decision to share an apartment with his childhood friend, Andrew Walker, as revealed by the Wall Street Journal in 2016. In a world where high-profile athletes often indulge in luxurious mansions, this choice was refreshingly modest and spoke volumes about Kerrigan's Kerrigan's values. But the frugality didn't stop at this. Kerrigan was equally conscious of his food expenses. According to Walker, the linebacker was a master of the kitchen, preparing most of his meals himself. This choice not only kept his food costs in check, but also demonstrated his self-sufficiency and dedication to maintaining a healthy lifestyle. However, even the most budget-conscious among us occasionally yearn for a treat, and Kerrigan was no exception. When he did decide to indulge, it was with a trip to the ever-popular fast-casual Mexican restaurant, Chipotle. This small, occasional splurge highlighted Kerrigan's relatability and the fact that even NFL stars can appreciate the simple joys of a delicious burrito bowl. So, why did Ryan Kerrigan choose to live this way? It seems that beneath his celebrity status and impressive contract, he remained grounded and connected to his roots. His choice to share an apartment with a lifelong friend and prepare his meals showcased a commitment to authenticity and a desire to maintain a sense of normalcy despite his extraordinary career. Glover Quinn, Glover Quinn, the seasoned Detroit Lions safety, stands out not just for his prowess on the football field but also for his remarkable financial acumen. With an annual income that hovers around $6.5 million, Quinn has demonstrated a rare commitment to fiscal responsibility that sets him apart from his peers. Since stepping into the NFL in 2009, He's been diligently tucking away an astonishing 70% of his hard-earned paychecks, a testament to his long-term financial vision. Yet, Quinn's financial savvy extends beyond the confines of a savings account. He's a calculated investor, dedicating a substantial 10 to 20% of his earnings to private equity companies. His goal is simple yet ambitious, to potentially double his income in the future. This approach showcases his unwavering dedication to securing a prosperous future for not only himself but also his loved ones. Setting a powerful example of financial responsibility, Quinn succinctly sums up his financial strategy. Save as much money as I can and spend as little as I can in the time that I have in the league. This statement, delivered in a 2016 CNBC interview, encapsulates his resolute commitment to optimizing his financial well-being. He views his NFL career not just as a means to achieve immediate success, but as a stepping stone to lasting financial prosperity, exemplifying that true success involves not only earning well but also managing wisely for the future. Darius Hayward Bay, the wide receiver for the Pittsburgh Steelers, has seen his earnings soar since his NFL debut in 2009. By 2016, he had amassed a substantial fortune, with reported earnings reaching approximately $35 million as per ESPN. Remarkably, even today, his average annual salary remains comfortably above the $1 million mark. What truly distinguishes him, however, is not just his ability to amass wealth, but his exceptional talent for preserving it. In an enlightening conversation with the SPN, he unveiled his secret to financial triumph, an ingenious allowance system that he co-designed with his mother. This method has empowered him to consistently save a significant portion of his income, a feat many athletes struggle to achieve. This financial wisdom is deeply rooted in his upbringing, where he imbibed the value of thriftiness from a young age. As he eloquently puts it, I grew up knowing what to spend and what not to spend. It's easy when you don't have money did not spend. That's how I grew up. His frugal mindset extends to practical choices in his life. During the football season when he's rarely home to watch television, he makes the pragmatic decision to cancel his cable subscription. I keep things real simple, he declares. I'm not really a flashy guy. I understand what I want to buy. I invest my money well and pay my taxes. What inspires this wide receiver's simple and financially astute lifestyle is a deep-seated commitment to financial security and a desire to make his hard-earned wealth work for him in the long run.
He's proof that success isn't solely about amassing riches. It's also about smartly managing and preserving them. His story serves as an inspiring example of how financial prudence and a humble approach can lead to lasting prosperity. Marshawn Lynch, Marshawn Lynch, the legendary NFL running back celebrated as beast mode, not only dazzled fans with his powerful running on the field but also left a lasting impression with his extraordinary financial discipline. Despite amassing a fortune during his illustrious NFL career, Lynch chose a path less traveled opting for financial wisdom over extravagant living. What sets Lynch apart is his unwavering commitment to living well within his means. Despite earning millions in NFL contracts, he relied primarily on his endorsement income to cover his expenses. In a world where lavish spending is often the norm among professional athletes, Lynch chose the road less taken by saving the bulk of his NFL salary. What's truly remarkable is Lynch's admission that he refrained from touching any of his NFL contract money, and by being committed to living extremely cheap, he has saved over $50 million. And that has been possible only because he chose to prioritize investments that would secure his financial future. This decision reflects not only his business acumen but also his determination to lead a relatively modest lifestyle. But what inspired Marshawn Lynch to embrace this financially astute way of life? It's a testament to his upbringing and values. Raised in a financially responsible environment, he learned early on the importance of prudent financial decisions. Lynch's simple lifestyle mirrors his upbringing, where frugality was a way of life. In a world where exorbitant spending and extravagance often steal the spotlight, Marshawn Lynch stands out as a symbol of financial prudence. Today, his net worth is over $35 million, yet, he leads an extremely simple life and even asks young NFL players to do the same. Aaron Rodgers Aaron Rodgers, undoubtedly one of the NFL's elite quarterbacks, boasting a Super Bowl champion title and a staggering net worth of $200 million, could easily lead a life of opulence and extravagance. However, Rodgers' priorities seem to follow a different path, one rooted in a genuine appreciation for a modest and grounded lifestyle. In an era where celebrity often equates to lavish living, Rogers stands as a refreshing exception. He derives satisfaction from simplicity, preferring to roll up his sleeves and take care of everyday tasks like tending to his own lawn rather than relying on others. Furthermore, his choice of residence reflects this preference for a more compact and unassuming dwelling compared to some of his NFL peers. Alfred Morris, devotees of professional football undoubtedly recognize the name Alfred Morris. His NFL journey commenced in 2012 as a sixth-round draft pick, a remarkable accomplishment in itself. When that draft moment arrived, Morris faced a crossroads familiar to many athletes of his caliber, the temptation to embrace a life of extravagant excess. It's what many would expect. But Morris chose a different path. Instead of succumbing to the allure of opulence, Morris remained resolutely modest, a trait that set him apart from some of his high-flying peers. He didn't undergo a dramatic transformation, he stayed authentically himself. One distinctive facet of Morris's life is his enduring companionship with his 1991 Mazda. This unassuming vehicle has been with him since his professional football debut, purchased for a mere two dollars from a pastor. But what's truly remarkable is that Morris has faithfully maintained this car over the years, a poignant symbol of his unwavering commitment to a modest way of life. While Alfred Morris's net worth is reported to be $2 million, it's his steadfast dedication dedication to living humbly that truly defines his character. John Urschel, in the whirlwind world of professional football, where lavish lifestyles often reign supreme, there's a name that stands out for its financial wisdom, John Urschel. From the very start of his NFL journey, Urschel had a clear goal in mind to ensure a secure and comfortable life once his days on the gridiron were over. But how was he planning to achieve this amidst the backdrop of extravagant spending and fleeting careers? Urschel's approach to living prudently starts with the vehicle he chooses to drive, a humble Nissan Versa. In a league where luxury cars are the norm, Urschel's choice raises intriguing questions. Why opt for simplicity when he can be behind the wheel of a high-end sports car like some of his teammates? The answer to this riddle lies in Urschel's commitment to financial responsibility. He understands the transience of an NFL career, where the glory on the field can be fleeting. So, how does he plan to secure his financial future? The clues can be found in his off-season endeavors. 
Ursh will invest his time at MIT, delving deep into the world of mathematics. It begs the question, what does a professional football player need advanced math skills for? Is it about bidgeting beto or perhaps preparing for life after football? Remarkably, John Urschel's net worth currently stands at a robust $10 million a testament to his financial acumen. But what makes his story truly captivating is his unyielding dedication to learning and preparing for the future, all while living a life of remarkable modesty in the present, in a world of excess. He reminds us that true financial wisdom is not just about the wealth you amass, but about the choices you make along the way. Antonio Cromarty Antonio Cromarty's NFL journey began with a splash of extravagance. When the world of professional football welcomed him, he reveled in a spending spree that saw a staggering $5 million vanish into homes, cars, and jewelry. But why worry about tomorrow when the checks keep rolling in, right? It was a heady experience, a life of seeming abundance until reality dawned. The ticking clock of an NFL player's career is relentless, counting down the days until the game is no more. When that realization struck, Cromarty's outlook on money underwent a seismic shift. How did he go from carefree spending to financial prudence almost overnight? Antonio Cromarty's transformation was nothing short of remarkable. He embarked on a journey of relentless saving, diligently funding his retirement account. But what was the driving force behind this newfound financial discipline? The answer lies in his desire for financial security, not just for himself but for his family, ensuring that everyone could enjoy a comfortable life well into the future. Cromarty's net worth now stands at an impressive $12 million, a testament to his financial resilience. However, what makes his story truly compelling is his commitment to sharing his hard-earned lessons with the next generation of athletes. Joe Flacco In the grand theater of the NFL, few stories shine as bright as Joe Flacco's. He etched his name in football history by securing not just a Super Bowl victory but also the coveted title of Super Bowl MVP in 2014. With a massive $120 million contract to his name, one might expect lavish living to follow suit. But here's where Flacco's tale takes an intriguing twist. While many in his position would be tempted to indulge in a life of excess, he's charting a different course. So, what is this quarterback doing with his substantial earnings? Joe Flacco's approach to wealth is refreshingly grounded. He's not letting his newfound fortune slip through his fingers. Instead, he's making prudent choices, including a notable one that might surprise you his occasional visits to McDonald's. Yes, you heard that right. Fans have spotted him enjoying a meal at the fast food giant's humble establishment. But what's the motivation behind this choice? Why would a Super Bowl MVP opt for a low-cost meal when he could dine at the finest establishments? Perhaps it's a reminder of his roots, a testament to his down-to-earth nature. Flacco's commitment to financial prudence goes beyond just affordable meals. He's saving a substantial portion of his earnings, demonstrating a keen understanding of the fleeting nature of an NFL career. So, what lies ahead for Joe Flacco, both on and off the field? Is his journey a lesson in humility and wise financial planning for future athletes? Joe Flacco's story serves as a captivating narrative of a man who, despite his meteoric rise to fame and fortune, chooses simplicity and fiscal responsibility. Ryan Broyles, in the ever-evolving realm of professional football, tales of financial wisdom often emerge from unexpected quarters. Enter the story of wide receiver Ryan Broyles. While he may not currently grace a team's roster, he isn't sweating bullets in pursuit of another million-dollar paycheck. Even after the Detroit Lions' modest $60,000 a year, now, that might sound like a comfortable sum for the average person, but it's a stark departure from the extravagant lifestyles often associated with professional athletes. But what's truly astonishing is the context surrounding Broyles' financial discipline. At the time of his release from the Lions, he was raking in an eye-popping $3.6 million annually. So, what motivated him to embrace a life of moderation? How did he summon the unwavering determination to stick to such a strict budget while tantalizing temptations loomed large. Broyles wasn't always this prudent with money. However, what truly transformed Broyles' financial mindset was a 20-year-old personal finance classic, Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. The book's profound message resonated deeply with him. Kiyosaki's insight, it's not how much money you make, 
It's how much money you keep. Struck a chord. Broyles realized that genuine wealth wasn't about earning a substantial income alone. It was about astutely preserving and making that money work for you. In Ryan Broyles' story, we discover a remarkable narrative of financial wisdom born from self-awareness and determination. It serves as a shining example of how, in a world of material excess, true financial security is achieved through thoughtful decisions and a commitment to long-term financial well-being. The stories of these NFL stars challenge the status quo, proving that financial wisdom and living with modesty can create the most enduring legacies. Keep these tales of inspiration close as you navigate your own financial journey. Until next time, stay curious and thrive!